make sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I want to keep this intro kind of short because I feel like my last ones have been a little bit too lengthy. But yeah, uh, enjoy the video. I figured that I would do some some more useless things since the last video did so good. But I decided I'd do some of the most useless mobs. I, there's there's going to be no particular order, but I'm just going to be just you know showing you some of the things I don't really think need to be in the game or maybe I just don't know why they're in the game. The first one is the illusioner because he doesn't even have his own spawn egg. You can't find him regularly in the game. You have to do a slash summon command to get the illusioner. And technically he actually works. See look let's go in survival. So if I go in survival mode and then I unleash him he has like a bow he does funny things Oh, and now he actually has a flag. Yep, a Seelic, and then there's multiple of them. He's a crazy guy. He's, like, yeah, you can't really tell which one's the right one, because I think he might be in the wall. Yeah, see, like, he's just, like, in the wall. Yeah, he he's pretty good, but maybe it's a good thing this one's not in the game. I feel like this one does not need any explanation of why he's terrible. Okay, so let's see his trades. Hmm, an emerald for flowers? Maybe it's good that you're being attacked by a zombie. Get out of here. But yeah, see, look, just these trades are awful. Emeralds for sand, flowers, dye. I guess if you're near a perfect fish and you're not near ocean, I guess that's okay, but I mean, that's just overpriced, man. Safe to say that this guy really, he did not need to be added to the game. My next one is the tropical fish. He's, he isn't in here, but uh, I'll go make an example for why it's so terrible. Uh, I'm so hungry. I really wish that there was some fish in here. Oh, finally, there's food. Uh, please, let me have the food. Oh, a tropical fish. I've, I've never seen one of these tropical fish before. I really hope that they give you a lot of food, though. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and cook it. Oh, uh, wait. You, you can't cook it? Uh, I, I hope you at least get something if you eat it raw. Uh, no! Hopefully that showed why the tropical fish isn't useful. Doesn't really give you any hunger bars. You can't even cook it. I mean, hey, it, at least it looks cool. My next one, I would kind of say the Vex. Also, it just flew through the wall. That's why it's not here. Honestly, these do have a purpose, but it's just like, it just feels like they're kind of overpowered, you know? They just kind of like fly through walls with swords, they instantly end you. Like, why give them to an evoker who's already extremely strong? <laughs> I feel it, yeah, and they don't even really drop anything, I don't think. They're just kind of annoying kind of guys. But yeah, I'd say that they're, they're, they're given to someone who's already overpowered, and they don't really drop anything. Honestly, it's kind of biased, though, because I hate them, and I feel like everyone kind of hates them, so I mean, I guess most of you would probably agree with me on that. I would say maybe the tadpole, because, I mean, he grows into a frog, but at the same time, uh, is he, like, do you really need a tadpole? I don't know. I feel like the tadpole's useless, but when he gets, like, when he grows into, like, a frog, he's probably fine. Another one I would say is probably the zombie horse, because he's someone that doesn't even spawn in the game. The skeleton horse does, but the zombie horse, he just does not even exist in the game. He he really doesn't do anything. You have to, uh, I think there's a spawn egg for him, but you yeah, know, he, ju he just doesn't spawn naturally. So, it's kind of weird that he's in the game. Probably another unnecessary thing, you don't need this many types of copper. You d you just don't need this much copper in the creative inventory. You don't need all of this copper. Another thing, m maybe not many of you know about, but the uncraftable potion does exactly as it says. You can't craft it, and you have to spawn it in. I don't know. It, I think it's kind of funny that it exists. I was kind of confused when it existed. Like if you want everyone to enjoy the uncraftable of the uncraftable potion, you can get the splash uncraftable potion. Look how amazing it is. Thank <laughs> you.